Hey, welcome to Every Damn Day. Do you want to talk about a few different things? We do. <laughs> We're going to talk about fleeces. We're going to talk about golden retrievers. We're going to talk about a stolen fish tank. And we might even talk about two famous people named Millie Bobby Brown and Drake. Oh. Should we get into it? Let's do it. Okay, so there's an Instagram account called Midtown Uniform. Ainsley, please show that photo. Uh, and the Wall Street Journal ran a story about how uh, <coughs> this is now the new kind of uniform of corporate America, a certain type of bro or techie guy where you wear like a neutral gray fleece over your collared shirt. And the Instagram account at Midtown Uniform, very funny, check it out. Uh, what do we think of this? I mean, I clothes, I think, show your personality. <laughs> and I find this so helpful, because I'm like, oh, OK, you're a bland, boring man. <laughs> so I don't have to invest in the conversation. I don't have to invest. Oh, finance. OK, oh. because, OK. <laughs> The old uniform used to be like the blue and white checker shirt. That was everywhere on yeah. the train yes. and in Midtown and in line for lunch at Chipotle every day. <laughs> and now this is what you see in line at lunch. Instead? Uh -huh. Yeah. How did, how did this become the go-to uniform for this? Well, the article said that um, like Silicon Valley types who were like outdoorsy and free thinking like Tim Cook uh, would wear a vest because it would be easy to like go out during lunch and like, go, uh, and, like be warm. <laughs> and forage. <laughs> forage Shove psychedelic mushrooms. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think, I don't know if I love it, man. If it, it got a real tiki torch Charlottesville <laughs> oh, feel whoa. going on. I don't love it. It's too just everybody wow. in the same that's thing. A, that's a pretty hot take on these vests. Does yes. anyone think they can outdo that hot take? I mm. love it. I'm all for that. Yeah, Ooh, I, no. think Chris is on, I think your Chris is absolutely right. Not all vests. Not all vests. <laughs> no, that's a vest. Yeah. It's not the vest. It's the ensemble of collective thinking, which is very creepy. Hey, that vest looks a little suspicious. Do you have a swastika in your back pocket? Maybe that's a question we should ask them, huh? So <laughs> this, that's mean. so that's gonna be mean. Maybe Chris, you when you when you look at this, you you just see them. you're like, whoa, those people are so white. Is what you're like a little too white? Yeah, a little too white for me. A little too white for my comfort. I feel like it's just just being. Why do you have to wear with the other guy? I guess that's how corporate stuff works. I don't know. I'm not I good bet. at stuff. I wouldn't be surprised if Kanye started wearing these. <laughs> <laughs> this is next thing. He wears Dragon energy, vests. vest energy. <laughs> I don't okay. want to wear, wear the vest if you like it, but listen to Chris. You don't have to follow that trend if you don't want to. Uh, speaking of treads, <laughs> this next story isn't a trend. <laughs> but, uh, it's about two guys who stole a fish tank from a PetSmart by motorcycle and then were arrested. Uh, Ainsley, can we show that photo? Uh, this happened in... <laughs> Uh, you gotta respect the audacity to try to make this work. I love you uh, too. This comes from Niles, Ohio, from the police department there. And one of my favorite things about it is that after they caught them on, uh, after they caught them, they ran on foot. They broke the fish tank, and then, uh, quote, a few minutes later, the cycle was found laid down behind uh, the street, and the officers discovered a nervous-looking male behind a home who was furiously pruning a small tree with his bare hands, telling officers he was there to do yard work. <laughs> I love that so much. It's so funny. And then he said that they went that way. Yes. <laughs> oh that's my a, god. That's that way. So cartoony. I know. Yes. Every aspect of this is cartoony. The, the getaway in plain sight. Yeah. Yeah, a hand, hand just pulling on a tree and be like, I'm doing work, and then yeah. they went that way. All of that is straight out of so Bugs good. Bunny playbook. It was yeah. an Acme tunnel over there. <laughs> he just threw up a black dot on the wall. This is like the low budget version of Shape of Water. <laughs> just two dudes. I can't even get a friend to help me move, and this guy's got a fish tank on a motorcycle. <laughs> Beef, buddy. That's a true friend. Totally. Yeah, this is a true a friend. Yeah. Speaking of great friends, mm. this next story. Drake and Millie Bobby Brown are great friends. You love her from Stranger Things. Uh, she's a child. She's 14. <laughs> and, uh, Drake, he's a grown man. He's 31. Uh, but he used to be a child star. And he's a rapper. So he basically, uh, why this is in the news now is that in a new interview in W Magazine, uh, Millie Bobby Brown said that her and Drake talk all the time. He gives her advice. Uh, what do we think of this? 
Oh, I mean, it's normal, right? All of us are around 31 years old. We all have 14-year-old friends, <laughs> right? Who are, yeah, who are, as we were once children, yes. we have a lot in common with children now, <laughs> right? Isn't that what he's, like, the case that he's making? Like, I was a kid once. And he was a child actor specifically. Right. He was cast on Degrassi when he was 15. And he's a rapper. She's a rapper. She's a rapper? She is, yeah. But she has, like, rap okay. skills. She rapped on sure. Fallon. Oh, yeah. See that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't think she sold an I album. Just, yeah, the whole thing, I'm like, this isn't going to end well. <laughs> I hope it does, but it doesn't feel like... It's not. Also, just being famous and 14 is, like, such a bad yeah. idea. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just just like a bad as a starter, I that's a bad idea. Don't be famous at 14. Don't so you, do it. So you say yeah. it's a non-starter from the beginning. I mean, I hope that they are going to break the mold and be just a very successful friendship, but... I'm like, yeah, it's going to go up in flames. It feels like this story has maybe left us with a strange taste in our mouths. So I want to end on a happy note. Uh, Ainsley, play that next video. How about a bunch of golden retrievers, huh? Oh. Look at them. Hey. Look at all those good boys and girls. Uh, thank you, Ainsley. <laughs> so good. This video comes to us from uh, Scotland. Uh, where 361 golden retrievers assembled to celebrate the 150 year anniversary of the breed and also to set a new Guinness Book of World Record for the largest gathering of goldens, uh, which is a record, yeah. I guess, you could set. I think they set two world records, the other being the largest gathering of turds in a yard. <laughs> Shortly after this video was Or taken. the largest gathering of basic white people. <laughs> just right there. Yeah, just throw a vest on those dogs. It's <laughs> over. So they all got a job in Midtown. Now. <laughs> <laughs> I love a video of a bunch of barking dogs. It makes Ugh. me really happy. I don't and know. And they've why. all got kind of the same face, and it's yeah. just so cute. Yeah. They all look it's happy. So cute. Do you think anybody went home with the wrong dog? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this can't be Tony. You know what I mean? Like, this, this, I feel like they all got regular Tony names. The dog. Tony the dog. Tony. You name a golden retriever a regular name. You don't give him like a dog name, like Flash. Tony, you give like... Tony seems different today. <laughs> Tony was wrong. Oh. Tony, don't know this. Oh Jordan, God. you seem unsure about this so story. Funny. Are you? Do you think it's cute or no? No, it's. I mean, it seems like hell. Uh, but, <laughs> It's cute in the video, the five second video, but oh my God, what hell. <laughs> to be around that many barking dogs, oh my God. They weren't always barking. They were chilling and smelling butts half the time. The it's wrong just, dog. It's a, it's a, a golden retriever centipede. <laughs> oh, just smelling butts and barking. Oh, oh no. Just loving it, dude. Yeah. Yeah, can we get a gift for that? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you can make that happen, we'd love to see it. Uh, let us know if you think this is heaven or hell. Uh, in the meantime, check out the YouTube community section. We've still got a poll going for what Bruce Willis character we should dress up as tomorrow. Let us know. You've got a couple minutes left to vote. Uh, and we're going to do a different thing right now. Hello. I'm Jordan. And once a week, I take a little more psychedelics than usual and write in my journal. These are my thoughts. Just like how Valentine's Day is a scam created by Hallmark to sell greeting cards and perpetuate the myth of love, Pi Day is a scam created by Texas Instruments to sell calculators and perpetuate the myth of mathematics. <laughs> Pi Day. This has been Truminations. <laughs> Yeah, let me get a cheesesteak, yeah, like salt, pepper, ketchup, mayonnaise, fried onions, yeah, American cheese. Oh, yeah, I, no, I'll be there, it's like 15 minutes, yeah, I'll be there and pick it up. Uh, I got to film somewhere, okay? I got to film uh, back in my day. First of all, I want to shout out the YouTube community for voting on this topic, because back in my day, everybody watched The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air starring Will Smith. Will played a high school kid from West Philly who moved in with his rich Uncle Phil, Bel Air. Uncle Phil was rich enough to afford a taxi from Philly to Bel Air. I mean, that's like $6,900 in current time. I did the math, it's weird. I Googled it, it's out there. All right. According to the theme song, Will Smith fled Philly after getting beat up in the schoolyard. 
The question we all want to answer, though, is how did his friend Jazz get from Philly to Bel Air? They never really told you. He just showed up one day. We love you, Jazz, but how did you get there? Parents loved Will Smith because he didn't curse in his music. Kids love Will Smith because he told the world how parents just don't understand. Back in my day, Uncle Phil raised everybody. He became either your dad or your uncle. And everybody had their favorite out there. I like the first out there. Fresh Prince had a lot of great classic episodes. Most people can agree that the episode when Will's dad comes back and then leaves again was the one we all realized Will Smith was a megastar. You remember? I'm gonna get through college without him. I'm gonna get a great job without him. I'm gonna marry me a beautiful honey, and I'm gonna have a whole bunch of kids. How come you don't want me no more, man? <laughs> End scene. That's what I'm talking about. That's the will we all love. I feel like I killed that. I mean, I'm looking at the. I don't think anybody else here agrees with me, but I felt like I did a great job. And don't act like you've never tried to do that scene. Hashtag Will Smith Challenge. Let's try it out. We're gonna do it. We're gonna try. Think about that episode, man. It really got me a little, a little, got me a little choked up. To be honest with you, it's a, it's a good episode. That that was just, that was just back in my day. When I first got my dog, I didn't. I kept forgetting to take a poop bag out when I would walk her because I'd never had a dog before. And um, one time she pooped and I like had to pick it up because it's like, what, you know, you're gonna be a good citizen and not leave dog shit everywhere. And I didn't know what to do. And then I saw someone had like thrown out all this white bread for like, they threw it out for like birds. <laughs> no. You made a poop sandwich. I scooped that right up. Really? Oh. You literally made a poop sandwich. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I didn't it's eat like it. Did you smush it together like a sandwich, though? Did you? No, I threw it in the trash. I mean, but did you take a second and be like, let me give, put a little smush on it? Yeah. <laughs> like, with the let bread and, put, like, just give it a little... little put a little smush on it. A little smush on it, you know what I mean? We'll see you tomorrow on Every Damn Day. <laughs>